Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, there has been a 46% increase of households applying for the program, which is a call for more money. Sally Lemus speaks with Congressman Gregorio Sablon and Secretary Robert Hunter, who gives very opposing solutions. In response to this 25% reduction, Congressman Gregorio Kalili Sablon is asking Governor Torres not to cut assistance for those receiving food stamp. I'm pleading with them to, after you took away their, their, their livelihood, their income, I'm pleading with him to not take away the food assistance that they and their family, the kids, deserve. But according to DCCA Secretary Robert Hunter, this matter is out of the governor's hands. Our governor has nothing to do with this. Governor Torres, if he called up uh, our food stamp program today, our NAP program, and said, um, stop the cuts, they couldn't follow that. The, the, the benefits determinations are approved by our, uh, the Food and Nutrition Service. Uh, they would never allow us to exhaust what funds we have available for the benefits five, you know, uh, uh, five months into the calendar year. They wouldn't let us exhaust them in five months. We have to have a plan that covers the entirety of the year based on the funding that we have available. And the funding that we have available is $12 million. Hunter says every single expenditure must be approved by the Food and Nutrition Service. If, if we are going to purchase a piece of equipment for the office, we have to get that approved by the FNS. So the suggestion that we have the leeway, especially with something this of this magnitude, where it means a reduction of, of eligibility and benefits, the suggestion that we can do that uh, is just totally incorrect. Hunter also adds that the CNMI must have a solid source of funding directly for the food stamp program. Of, of course, we, we, you know, we, we support the congressman's efforts to get funding through whatever means he might be able to get that funding through. But we've seen the, you know, the, the Heroes Act uh, uh, fall short. Uh, we've seen the recent um, stimulus effort fall short. And so now, now we're talking about a possible pandemic or another COVID bill. Of course we want uh, him to be successful in getting us the resources we need through whatever means necessary. If that means the COVID bill or whatever is on the horizon, that's fine. But, but we also need to have a realistic plan. And these so far haven't panned out as realistic. These are hopes. Congressman Sablon, on his part, says he has already secured funding and is just waiting on the U.S. Congress to pass the budget bill. Since the governor is still un unsatisfied with the results that I've done, so I spoke to the speaker and I, I think I got her to convince her to give the loan to Marianas another $14 billion. That was just this morning. And so I don't know what more to, you know, put together 29 plus the 14. That's about almost half of the Commonwealth's budget. Reporting for KSPN News, I'm Sally Lemis.